Hey, hey, y'all. Oh, John Patrick here, your neighborhood realtor. And as someone who lived in Bradfield Farms, my wife lived in Bradfield Farms, my mother-in-law still owns a property over in Bradfield Farms. I'm a big, big fan of the community. I think it's one of the best neighborhoods in that kind of northeastern section up there uh, with great amenities and great people. And I just want to do a quick look back, a market snapshot of the first quarter of this year, January through March, of what's been going on with the real estate market up there. I'll give you some guidance and let you uh, maybe put some numbers to what you read about in the, the news about how hot the Charlotte market is. So grabbing my notes here, uh, in the first quarter, there were 10 that sold. There was one that expired, and that means that it was listed, but it expired without selling and three that were withdrawn from the MLS. There are nine currently under contract at the moment I'm doing this, and one actively for sale. So how do we break this down? What does that really mean? Well, I'm going to clean up what I'm looking at here really quick. And you know, Bradfield Farms is a big, big subdivision. Having 10 closed in the first quarter I think that still puts us behind where we, do, we would expect to be, statistically speaking, right? I would expect somewhere around 40 or 60 houses to sell in a, a given year based on the fact that most people um, move into a house and stay there for about 8 to 10 years probably. So having 10 sales, that means that you're looking at about 40 over the year. There's nine right now, and that's keeping us kind of on track, but a little bit under what statistically we're going to see. But that's what we've seen throughout the entire Charlotte market, is that there's there's more buyers you know, moving out of apartments or wherever they happen to be, more people moving into the area. There's more buyers than there are houses for sale, and people who own houses are holding on to them longer than they have historically speaking. And part of that is they're just happy where they are. Part of that is they don't know where they're going to move to after they sell. But let's take a look at the 10 that sold in the previous three months. The median here for days on market is about 18, 21 days. So let's say three weeks. Uh, statistically speaking, the this last month, I just looked at the number, of the whole Charlotte market average was about 61 days on market. So being at, let's say, three weeks still puts us dramatically above the average for the Charlotte market. List prices, just so you know, range from 176.9 to 259.9, so 177 to 260 in terms of sales price, price per square foot, because everybody always asks about this, I don't totally believe it, uh, 81.66 per square foot up to 132.67. And one thing I'm adding here is, what's the ratio of the closed price to list price? It ranged from about 88% to 101%. So fully four of the sales, four of the 10 sales received at asking price or above. So what's the takeaway here? Well, primarily the market is very strong, very much favors sellers. There's a lot of buyers out there, but as I've seen over and over in the market, buyers are very price sensitive. If you miss that price by 5,000 square feet, your house might sit on the market a little bit. Days on market for the 10 sales range from two days to 150, with that median being somewhere right around three weeks again. So a house that's in great shape, it's priced right, good marketing behind it, is probably going to sell pretty darn quickly, at least better than average out here. But if you misprice it a little bit, House might languish a little bit while you wait for the right buyer to come along. So if you have any questions, reach out and talk to me. Let me know. Let me know what I can do to help you. I'm happy to help in any way I can. But I hope this information is uh, beneficial to you and you enjoy.